In the previous PHP and MySQL example, we, we place some plain text content into a MySQL table and use PHP to get that content from the table into a web page. However, one thing we didn't cover was how do I incorporate images into that table? So in this video, we're going to add a couple images to our database content. Now, there are two main ways of doing this. The first one is to simply place the file name of the image in the table. So that's just plain text content. We then use PHP to take the file name from the table, combine it with an image tag in our HTML to display an image. The second method is you can take the actual image file, convert it to a base64 string and put that string in the table. Now it's going to be a large string, so you got to make sure your fields are large enough. And then we just use PHP to take that base64 data and place it in an image tag um, like you would with a plain base64 string. Now there's advantages and disadvantages to both. With the first example, if we use the file name and put the file name in the table and use PHP to put the file name from the table into an image tag, you have problems like, well, what happens if that image is missing? Or if you delete the record, did you remember to delete the corresponding file? With the second method, it's a little bit cleaner because the base64 string of the image is in the record. So if you delete that record, the file goes with it. You don't have to worry about either a missing file or having files whose records have been deleted. However, your database size and your is much larger. So in this example, we're gonna just go with the first method. We are gonna place the file name in our table. We're then gonna use PHP to get the file name from the table format it in a well-coded HTML image tag to display our image. So, so that we don't have to start from scratch, I've taken the files from the previous example and I've pulled out all the content that is unrelated to our goal this time. So let's just take a quick look at the files we have. So I have a file called images.php. We have our database connection. I am using MAMP. So our database connection, login and password and database name are here. I have my basic HTML tags. I have code here to write my SQL statement. I'm going to execute my SQL statement, display an error message, if there is an error with that SQL statement. And then I display how many records my SQL statement found. We then loop through those records and here's where I'm going to display my image. Now, before we start adding to this file, we need to create a table. In that table, we're just gonna provide a name and a file name of the image we want to display. The images I have, I just grabbed three from my Instagram account, so we have picture of some Arduino components, picture of a computer, and a picture of a Lego robot. So if I go to my database, I'm gonna create a new table. We'll just call it images, and we will have three columns. So our columns are going to be ID. That is going to be an integer, and my primary key and I'll check off auto increment. I'm going to have the name of my image. That's going to be a variable character. We'll put a hundred characters. That should be plenty. We then need the file name of my image. Also going to be variable character and I'll put in a hundred characters. That should be plenty. Okay, and let's insert my three images. So we'll give these names. So I'll call this one Arduino components and I'm just gonna copy the file name right out of here. And just so I don't get that wrong, place my file name in there and that is a 
JPEG, I believe. Yep, those are JPEGs. Then I have my custom computer build. And same thing, let's just copy the file name here. And then one more. Our Lego robot. So if I click browse, we now have my three records. All right, let's go back to our PHP and let's adjust our query. So I'm gonna select ID, name, and file name from my images table and we'll just order those by name. Gonna execute my query and to start, let's just output an H2 and then our name. And if I save that and test, All right, there's my result. So it's working, we found three records, and I'm getting my titles from the table into my web page. Now, I need to get my image file name into my HTML document. So let's do this step by step. Let's just get our file names showing up. Okay, so the key for that is file name. And if I save and refresh, there's my file name. Now, I often find when people are learning PHP, they'll often start coding an image like this. And I think it kind of comes from a lot of the examples you start with are headings and paragraphs and even links where you have an open close, uh, sorry, an open tag and a close tag, and they just kind of apply that to an image. However, Remember, we need to code our PHP so that it generates proper, well-formatted HTML. So the HTML rules we've been coding with for a long time don't change. Now, if I ask that same person to code an image tag, then that's done easily. So if I just code a plain HTML image tag and refresh, so there is my image. So this is what we want to generate. And you can see this is not going to generate this. You almost want to think like PHP. So when PHP processes this line, it's going to output an open image tag then it's gonna add the file name of my image. Then it's gonna output a close image tag. So this line of PHP would generate this HTML. And then from an HTML perspective, obviously that's a not a well-formatted HTML tag. So we need it to generate this. So the first thing we need is an open image tag and our source attribute. So this first piece is text. This piece comes from our database and this is our closing piece. So our beginning is open image tag SRC equals double quote. We then have our file name coming from the database and then after our file name, we close our double quote and close our image tag. And now if I save that and refresh, now we get all three images along with their names. And now I can take out this sample HTML. On a side note, if I had my images in a folder, 
called images. So let's just move them into here. And now, obviously, if I refresh, clear my cache and refresh, now we get some broken images. So if you look at this image tag, we're missing the images folder. So if your images are not in the same folder as your PHP, just like with HTML, you would have to specify your folder. So I can take my images, add images before my file name, save and refresh. And again, we have working images. If we look at our image element here, there is a proper reference to our image in our image folder.